Good morning everybody and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. Today, well, that's an interesting thing. I've been improving a few things. I've upgraded these to choppers to stone because basically the wooden ones were going through axes too fast. I wasn't really generating too much wood, but these ones are definitely producing a reasonable amount of wood because I only just kind of collected that. As you can see, this time oak is actually winning. And here I've got a few jungle trees. No saplings yet, that, yet there, but it's working away. Uh, there are only three saplings to start with, so that's working. I captured a few horses and put them on some leads, so they are running away. And I think that's another four. I think I trained another horse as well. Now today I've got still energy problems as it happens, so we need to get something done with power. And as you can see, it's running okay at the moment. You can hear the the engines. I've added some more heat generators here. I've added actually four being run by lava. But now I can re I've put them back one row as well, and I can actually just about reach the interface. So if we need to shove some more charcoal in, we can. And here is the um, gas burning generator, and its hydrogen level is. Mm, very low at the moment it's not even showing but it's like going up very very slowly so what I've been doing I've been adding speed upgrades to all of these machines so here's another one not not speed upgrades energy upgrades and here I've added two energy upgrades of eight so I'd like to upgrade this again to the full eight so we need to make six more energy upgrades so Let's have a look, how do we do that? What was in there at the moment? Just, yeah, just some steel I want to process. In fact, let's get that steel processing while we're talking. And we will just put in, uh, I think I need, a, each one of these is eight, so I probably need about eight. Let's have a look, what do we get in here? 640, yes, yeah, spot on. Put those back in here. So that'll make 640 steel from enriched iron. Now, the energy upgrades, let's have a look at that first of all, because I'm going to make a windmill as well. And it does make a difference, these energy upgrades. I was quite surprised. So we need enriched alloy, gold dust and glass. Now, have we got any gold dust? I... Yes, we've got ten. Good. We need six of these. So what I'll do is I'll put uh, the other f six of these. We just need six. I'll put the other four in here. And glass we need. And enriched alloy. Let's have a look. We need some glass. Probably got enough for that. So now we should be able to simply make the other six of these. Shift clicking gives me six. And then I put these into this machine, not on the item hopper, I have to go below, and click in here. So at the moment I've got two of the eight, so if I put these in here, they get taken in. And as you can see, I can put three different upgrades in here, energy, speed, and muffling. I turn down the for you, so it doesn't actually use so much. And it, this actually does make a huge difference on this. You'll see now the energy is going up before it was going down, so it's definitely working. So we're now getting some nice steel dust coming out of here. We could even do a, a speed upgrade as well, but I think I'll leave that for the time being, because I think that'll probably use more energy. Now you can hear it's actually not keeping up, sort of going uh, uh. So what I want to do next is to produce a windmill. So let's just smelt these steel ingots in here and get on with a windmill because I also need to make some more basic universal cables probably about a stack so let's have a look for the um, basic universal cables I think that's just um, redstone with two steel around it and that gives me eight yes so I'll need I think I'll need a stack so I'll need 16 steel ingots and we need the windmill. We'll do the windmill first. So for that we need two energy tablets. 
I'm not sure what we haven't got on that one actually. I could probably do that on crafting table. Gold will need, redstone will need, iron will probably need. Take those. And that will possibly do here. Let's have a look. Or we can make six. We only want two. One, two. Move everything else out of the way. And uh, that's the energy tablets. Basic control circuit we've got and three Osmine ingots. Oh, we should have three Osmine ingots here, no problem. So let's have a go at that one. I think, yes, we can put our windmill. JEI is quite, really quite good actually, I like it. Now, I've made a little pathway up here to get at the top. So let's go and go out of here. And this is where I'm going to run the energy conduit. Hopefully there are no mobs around. I should have checked first, shouldn't I? And where I'm going to put it is I'm going to put it here. Or well, at least I'm going to put the first one here. Because I think... Oh, I went to second. Now we're going to put it here. And I think that's the energy in, in fact. I'll have to move this. Let me just close the traps. Yes, I'm going to have to move it. Because it always comes in the side. We need to be one back for the cable. So here's a good place. Ah, look at that. I'll do it from the direction I'm facing as well. I, don't, I did pick it up. Right, that'll be fine. Because we're going to bring the energy, uh, basically, an universal cable out of here. So let's just go down these ladders again. Now, with the trapdoor just here, it's less dangerous, and you don't have to worry about falling down the ladders so much. If I can get down them, that is, which doesn't look like again for the time being. If I want to remove this torch as we go down, put it up somewhere else. Now. As you can hear, it's definitely not working at speed. But at least this is working, and it is just about managing to keep up, if not going up sli slowly. So we'll need these anyway. So let's put these into this furnace as well, and take out these. So the first thing we need to make is the universal cable. So we'll do that as well. Oh, second thing, this will give me 10 It'll give me 80. Well, I'll just do five of those, four of those. Oh, 32. Can't count. I don't think that's anywhere near enough. Let's go and put them down and see if I can figure out how many we need. They're round about a stack, I think. We'll start at the top. And you can, as you get nearer the top, you can hear the windmill whistling. So I'll remove this block here and put the cable down here. I have to shift click it of course, and now that connects, so that goes down there. And we have to go down with it. If I can, that is. Catch everything up to where a jaded uh, ladder would be really useful, and I don't have open blocks available for 1.10. Before I go down here, I'm going to make sure we close this. Right. So we've got to be full, make sure I don't fall off the ladder, of course. Oh, that's good. I have actually got enough. That's perfect. So I've now got to break this block, and what I'm going to do to break this block, I'm going to move these torches out of the way here, because there's lava behind, and the lava will flow forward, and I'm going to put this uh, conduit in its place, like that, so that will hold the lava back. And straight away, the noise changes, and we have enough power. I'll probably need more of those, because these things are just not producing enough hydrogen for this. It very, very slowly staying as it is at the moment because we are working 
and I put those speed energy upgrades in every single machine. So I'll some more steel. We'll get those cooked up as well. And because we're going to need loads of steel in this uh, in this game. That was good actually, I didn't expect that to work as well as that. Now what else we're going to do is we're going to crush at least one diamond. Um, and I think what we have to do is enrich it. So let's have a look at the uses of this. So in the enrichment chamber it will we'll get a compressed diamond. And the reason for this, as you will see in a minute, is we can make some obsidian ingots. Again, this is made in the enrichment, the metallurgic infuser. So we should have those. And I'm not sure how much material, so we've still got to wait for another 12 of these, but we can put this into here. And we need some obsidian. I think I've got 11 obsidian. I hope that's enough. If not, we'll just have to make some more. Actually, that won't take too long. Some more steel dust. Coming out of here, I'll put this into here. But it does sound okay now, so that windmill may well have done, one windmill may have been enough to help out this process. I haven't joined these two across here, but you can now just reach these facades as well, so it doesn't need it. And I'm actually wondering if I even need this rotary, uh, rotary condenser, electrolytic separator here, whether one would be enough to do the hydrogen that we need. At the moment it's not. I keep jumping over those pipes. So oxygen, we've got plenty of oxygen, and that's coming into the purification chamber. So if we want to get some more gold dust, for instance, we just put one of those in there, and we shall get three more gold dust going through. The next upgrade on these machines will be to turn them into factories. Oh, well, you can't see it going. So there it goes through. It comes through as three gold clumps, which get crushed to dirty gold and so on and so forth. I've still got to wait for this to finish. We've got three more to go. Let's take these and put those into here. Remove those steel ingots and do the usual faffing around until we've got what we need. Ten, one. Oh, I need ten carbon, so I need. Oh, it is empty. That's strange. Thought you got it right. How many are we do here? Eighty. So we need. We can put eight obsidian in here, and we should get some. Ah, oh, it's probably obsidian dust. Let's go and crush this then. No, that's not working. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the use of the enrichment chamber. Ah, oh, okay, it's the enrichment chamber I need to put it in, which will give me two dusts. So we will need four of these then. And now, what we need to also make is an osmium compressor, I think. And that will probably be the last machine down here. So let's have a look at that. An osmium compressor. So we need one steel casing. That's not going to be a problem. What are we missing? Steel ingots and iron. We shall do that. Was it iron or was it osmium? I think it was osmium actually. Yep, we can make one of those. Now we've run out of glass, so we'll have to get some more sand. But we can actually start to make sand because we can um, take, if we look for the recipe for this, for example, oops, I've just ordered it again, hasn't it? When I press R. So, sand. And the recipe for sand is gravel in the crusher. The recipe for gravel is, I think we can use the crusher on cobblestone, which will produce gravel. So putting that through the crusher twice will give us sand. And there's no shortage of cobblestone, even though I'm not doing any cobblestone generation. 
So in the crusher here, we could shove these four in. Let those process. And what do we need to do now? We need to make these. Okay, that's no problem. We've got both the enriched alloy and the basic control circuits. In fact, we've got plenty, so we can do that straight away. So we need two of these. Oops. I have to look at the crafting table to do that. Try again. Like that. So now what do we need? Two buckets. And four. Enri oh, we haven't got enough for enriched alloy. That's a pain. Hopefully... The Osmian Dust is now ready. What happened to that? Ah, oh, there it is. So we can then put this into here. And from here we should get eight of those, eighty of that. So one diamond made eight, eight of these, which should be refined obsidian dust. And that is actually enough to make... Um, I think we have to compress that now with obsidian. So let's get on with this process of making the obsidian compressor. We need the redstone, don't we? So it's the usual problem. In fact, I've probably got some. Yes, I've got plenty in here. That will make eight ingots. So we need eight ingots of iron, which I don't have. Maybe the iron dust in here, six the iron dust. So. We'll need some for the buckets as well, so we need uh, 8 plus 3 is 11, that 12 will do, we'll do 16, because that's 2 stacks of uh, 2 uh, charcoals. And we need to make some buckets, don't we? So we'll make, we need 2 buckets, so we can, we've already got 1, so we'll make another one. So that's the 2 buckets. And we're just waiting for 1 enriched alloy. It shouldn't be too long as it happens. Eight of those. I got three iron already, so we can put the iron into here. And that's filling up nicely. Also, I've got this basic energy cube which is now actually full, so I've got two mega jewels in here. But I configured it so it wasn't putting the power back into the network for the time being so this energy ca uh, cable is not connected but you can connect that easily enough you just click on here change the face so it would be the back face here which we would want to be as an output which is dark red so we've got three of those now we can finish off that osmian compressor I think yes so we want from here one more basic universal cable. I think we can put this on happily on the end. Uh, no, we can't. Maybe we can put it beside this one here. Yes, that would probably be a good place. Because it's not a standard processing, I don't think. And it got energy very quickly. 40 kilojoules. Now, does it share recipes? It does. So one osmium ingot plus one refined obsidian dust will give one obsidian ingot. So basically it's the same for glowstone and that's the only purpose of this machine, these two. Glowstone ingots or refined obsidian. Because everything else is sort of greyed out. So that's what we need next. So we actually need seven. We'll do half of these. Because the first thing I'm going to make with this, I could make some armor of course, we could also make some some packs of liquid obsidian. That makes a good noise. The other spit there is obsidian all catered so we don't care. We just put some obsidian in here. And the obsidian pack will has a very high 
Well, actually, obsidian armor is also very, very strong. So I'll look what other uses we've got for this. Blocks, atomic disassembler. I don't actually know what those yet. So we'll find that out later on. Teleporter frame, a row, a robot, and some armor, of course. In fact, so this is 12, 12 tough toughness and four. It's a really good armor. So we should make some more of this. So we need basically one diamond for eight ingots. So for a full set, we'll need three diamonds. That's no problem. But we'll need a lot of obsidian too, so. That noise is incredible. So we can have an obsidian pack, pick, pickaxe, an axe, a shovel, a hoe, and of course a, a sword. So that's got 14 attack damage. That's pretty nice. What have we got here? Quantum and entangler we should also have an opposite i guess it won't be from that will it it'll be from it is a crafting recipe but i don't see the recipe for that in ji but i'm pretty certain it'll work what's wrong with this not enough obsidian I'm sure I'll put oh did i only put seven in there yes i did didn't i in fact, it looks like we're going to need some more obsidian anyway, so let's get that processing. Let's take half a stack of that and get that through these machines, and then we can come back with our obsidian oil. So where are we going to get this? I'm not going to tier f the next tier of these machines until we've got the miner. So the miner's next thing. So let's just make this Paxel. That's exactly what we need, eight sticks. So three will make an axe, one will make a shovel, and three will make a pickaxe. And then you just put them together. So axe goes at the top, as it were, a shovel goes at the bottom, and then we have an obsidian backsaw. And this boy has got 15 attack damage, uh, 1.6 attack speed, and I'm not sure if you can do something with it. But I have been fishing again. I mean, enchanted, and I've got plenty of um, XP at the moment, nearly 30. Let's go into here, my little fishing room, and have a look what we've got. In fact, I was fishing, so they'll be down here. So I've got some nice enchantments. So here I've got protection three and efficiency four, mending and thorns. So that'd be absolutely perfect for armor. Protection 3 and Sharpness 3, Bane of Anthropods 4, Depth Driver and Flame. So that's actually going to be a good one for the Nether, so we'd put that on some boots, I think. But maybe this one will be a good one for the Paxel at the moment. And Mending and Unbreaking would also be good. So what have we got in here? I've got some more books. Bottom chest. Not back to. That wouldn't be too bad, actually. Depth Strider 3, that's even better, isn't it? Uh, I'm breaking 3. And there's also Silk Touch I got as well. So I got some good enchants from fishing. So let's go and put those onto this. Paxel, first of all. Ah, so I think the best one probably is efficiency to start with. Now we'll do unbreaking. It's only three. Ooh. Oh, that was a weird one. Oh, yeah. We've lost the, uh, the anvil. It was its last time of use. Let's have a look. I've probably got some more ingots of iron down here to make another one, but probably not enough. Of eight dust in there. Tell you what we'll do, we'll take half a stack of iron and we'll put that through the process as well. And let that process itself. You'll see we've still got 15 osmium to do. Crush is working hard. Purification chamber, enrichment chamber is working hard. And should be getting out some dust here. So 44. So I need three blocks plus four, so that's 27.31. Let's go upstairs and. So I'll do 32. Split 
split our half 13 down here. Let's split half of those in here and put the other half in the bottom. So that will be as fast as I can do at the moment for these two. I did actually build two more furnaces. And Mechanism has its own one as well. And it would be good to put mending on this pickaxe. Let's go and demonstrate this pickaxe before I go and do anything else. We need some more sand. Let's go and just harvest some sand. It's a little treat. What time of day is it? It's just after midday. Because evening on this places in the f this distance here so west of course that was weird what happened there As you see it's very fast Almost like creative this in fact. That's just sand. Sand's fairly weak anyway, so we've got plenty of sand. Let's just put some of this sand back in here. Twenty-seven. Now let's go and find out how this works in the mining world. Oh look. Cactus. Oh the tree must have knocked the cactus off. So look how this performs on a tree. Because wood's not that slow, but it's well, this one here is a bit funny looking tree. I think I'll jump on the top here. Yeah. It's basically pretty fast doing that tree. swim across here just wondering whether I should make a bridge or not for doing this so let's go down into here I'm just wondering what I'm basically thinking what I'm going to do next time I'd like to do the digital miner because the digital miner is really cool but it needs power let's press the button and go forwards the button simply activates the, the power rail so it gives you a little bit of a start and the last one as you'll see is basically turned off so that actually stops it so let's trundle down here There's some obsidian. Now that's a good test. Let's have a look. But I don't have a bucket of water. It wouldn't matter. We'll just test it on here. Yes, I was worried about that. Okay, so it's fairly good. So we'll look on some other minerals we've got. Maybe there's some stuff around here. It's quite a long tunnel, this. And it should already be mapped out. Because I've basically gone through here and I've done all the mining in here anyway and replaced the st most of the holes with cobblestone. Put some obsidian there. So I'm not going to dig that out because I know underneath that is some lava. And here we should have a cave. But I've done a lot of mining in here as well. Here we've got a spider spawner which I've basically lit up. And over here I should be able to just find something. But as you can see this was uh, this has been well mined out here. Oh, we've got some tin here. Let's just quickly mine that. Yeah, that's pretty good too. And that looks like another spider spawner, which it is. I don't think it's the same one. 
Get some iron. That's nice, so it's easy too. Oh, is this the same spider spawner? Redstone, of course, would be no problem. I would like to get a fortune on this pick as well, and mending. Yeah, pretty good. So the obsidian pickaxe is nice. And I'm going to do the armor next. I'll probably do that off camera. So that was two spider spawners. Okay, so I've used the convention in the mines, putting the torch on the left hand side for the way out. So I reckon that. I don't know which way out is for that matter. Must be the way I came. But that's all right hand side. That's all the right hand side. It must be up. In fact, here we go, there's a left hand side one here. I'm now lost. <laughs> As usual, mines I do not like. I should get my wall trick going. That's definitely left hand side and that's definitely right hand side. I can't get up there and that's a dead end. They didn't come down here because I haven't mined those yet, so that's correct. Some coal here, we might as well mine that while we're here too. Ah, is that an area I've not explored yet? Of course, this thing works pretty well on wood as well. That's some gold. In fact, now I've got a bucket of water. I'm full. My inventory is full. Great. So I shall come back here. Put down a. Um, have I got a torch? Yes, I have. Let's put down a torch just here. Is that a mob? I don't have any space for anything. Right. Must have been down there at some stage. So how did I get here? Not there, not there. Not there. Must be down here. Ah, oh, bedrock. So I have been down here, because I've been mining this. Ah. Well, there's plenty of coal and copper is also a good one, but no point in mining anything I can't pick up, is there? Somewhere along the line I've put the torch on the wrong side. Probably here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to do a pause and come back. And can we get my way out of here? The worst case is I have to dig my way out, which is not the would not be the first time. Just wondering how I got here, that's all. Okay, until until later. See you back. Bye for now. How on the earth have I got lost in here? Ah. <sighs>
Right. I found my way out again, I hope. Yes, there we go. Pass the spawners. It wasn't down here. It's this is just down there. Yes, that's right. And back to where we were. So that's the end of Well, I suppose that's the end of this episode. So I shall see you next time. What have we got? There's some more rails. In fact, they've got... Uh, yes. Okay. Until next time. Bye for now.